Hi Geminis and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading from January 12th through the 18th, 2020. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot nor will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, want to thank you for for the guy for the ones that contribute towards my daughter's birthday. She had a blast; it was greatly appreciated. And as a thank you, I extended the baby girl birthday special till Sunday midnight. So for whoever you know, for whoever wasn't able to do it, get their readings. You got till Sunday to do it. And you can email me at intimategoddesstarot@gmail.com to book a reading. Okay, and also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So here we go. Let's start your reading. Okay. Gemini, my little Gemmies, please tell me about Gemini's in love from January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love from January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love from January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love from January 12th through the 18th, 2020. My little Gemmies. Hopefully you guys are having a good night. Let's see. Please tell me about Gemini's in love from January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love from January 12th through the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love from the 12th through the 18th of January, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love from January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love from January 12th through the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love. From January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love. From January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love. From January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love. From January 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love. From the 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love. From the 12th to the 18th, 2020. You guys don't want to talk? What's up with that? You guys are normally running your mouth. Why are you guys being all quiet today? Please tell me about Gemini's in love from the 12th to the 18th, January 2020. Please tell me about Gemini's in love. There we go. Whew, that took forever. The Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Five of Cups and the Fool. And we have the Ten of Wands and the Empress. Okay, so some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius or Aries. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libra as well. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Sag Leo Air, no Sag Leo Aries, or water Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But this person, whoever this person is, could be either you or the other person. This person at one point, they had uh, they was miserable, there was regrets here, but now it looks like they're really they're ready to take a leap of faith now, because there was conflict. 
Looks like here there was conflict. They could have had inner conflict or mental conflict. It was more of a push and pull. They didn't know what they wanted. When you're looking at the when you're looking at this car right here, you see two men pulling on the rope right there. It's like one minute they're going this way, the next minute they going that way. They couldn't make up their mind. It was a push and pull type of deal because they had the conf they had inner conflict. It could have been inner conflict, mental conflict, or physical conflict. But the wheel's not turning, and this person was regretting things, and they was missing someone, but now they're ready to take a leap of faith. Although this person may still have burdens, or they may be stressed out over this empress. They could be stressed out over her. Oh, so, well. Let's find out what's going on here. Please give me more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Please get more information on the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Okay. That came out fast. That's what I like. When you guys talk and talk, do a real Gemini. Be a true Gemini and run your mouth. That's a true Gemini right there. Okay. Cool. So we have the tongue reverse. So this person could have been avoiding you. And, but now, we have the six of wands and the three of wands. So now, this person could have been avoiding you. But now, this person wants to get your attention. Because they're waiting on you. They're waiting for, they, either you're waiting on this person to give you attention or this person's waiting on you to give them attention. Because somebody here was being avoided. Somebody is ignoring some, somebody else. And the other person is waiting on the other person to start paying them attention. Because, you know, they're in conflict here and you're ignoring the other person. Simple as that. You're just ignoring them. You ain't giving them the time of day. And they're basically waiting. They're, like, they're waiting. They're like, okay, she's going to contact me. I know she will. She ain't giving me attention. But I know she will. Okay. You keep believing that. <laughs> so let's see. With the Wheel of Fortune. Please give me more information with the Wheel. Please give me more information on the Wheel. Please give me more information on the Wheel. Why is the Wheel here? Please give me more information on the Wheel. Please give me more information on the Wheel. Why is the Wheel here? Please give me more information on the Wheel. Please give me more information on this Wheel. Please give me more information on the Wheel. Give me more information on the wheel, vice. Okay. Okay, the wheel. See, they want to come out from the cold. Now they want to invest. They want to put an end to this. See, we got the seven of pentacles here. We have the five of pentacles here. And we have the death card here. They want to put an end to this. They want to be, they want to put the end to this. They want to end this, you know, this avoidance. You avoiding them, kicking them to the curve. They want to put an end to this. And they want your attention because they're missing your attention. They need your attention, Gemini. Attention, Gemini. Attention, Gemini. Can you please give me some attention? Because I really do want your attention right about now. And Gemini's like... Whatever. <laughs> but now they want to now they want to invest into this relationship. Now they want to invest. Because there was everything with them was about push and pull, un, un being indecisive, not making up their mind. They had this inner conflict going on. And somebody started avoiding somebody here. Basically, you kicked them to the curb. Because you ignored them. You ain't giving them any attention at all. And they want to put an end to that. They want to come out from the doghouse. Okay. Your gemmies know what you got to do. I don't need to tell you what you guys got to do. You guys got this, right? I know you do. Let's find out about the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Please get more information on the Five of Cups. 
Please give me more information on the Five of Cups. Please give me more information on the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Okay, I think I got two cards came out. So, an Aquarius. This is Aquarius. Aquarius. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Aquarius. Why am I saying Aquarius? Some of you guys are dealing with Aquarius because this is a star, but then again, the star is associated with the sign Aquarius. But either way, we got the star. We got the, what we got here? The Five of Swords. We got the World in Reverse. And we have the Empress again. So, let's break it down. Let's break it down, gem, my little jemmies. So, this person, check this out. They over there feeling all miserable and shit because... They, because they was busy playing mind games with you. And it wasn't going nowhere. This shit wasn't going nowhere. It wasn't going nowhere. Because why? Because this person was busy playing mind games with you. You got the world in reverse and you got the five of swords. This is them busy playing mind games with you. It wasn't going nowhere. There was no start. They feeling they feel like, you know, there's unfinished business between the both of you guys. Yeah, because it wasn't going nowhere, but now they want expansion. With well, the Empress here, yeah, they want to expand now with you. They want and they're regretting this. That's one type of thing. They feeling they regret it. They're feeling miserable because they know that the shit wasn't going nowhere. And all they was doing was playing mind games. Now this person needs time to heal as well, because with the star here and the five of and the five of cups, this person probably needs time to heal. They probably could have been hurt in the past, either by you, this the connection, or someone else in the past, and they needed time to heal. So it was hard for this relationship to make it off the ground if you got somebody that has a broken heart. So instead of them telling you this, they was busy playing mind games with you. They was busy playing mind games with you. And but now, because they know they want this. This person actually does want it, but and they want to take a leap of faith with you. And now they're they're basically regretting it. I mean, it could have been either or this. You could have been dealing with somebody that needs to be healed. That needed to be healed because the star is a healing and it's also a wish fulfillment. And this person needed to be healed. And that's the reason why it wasn't going nowhere. And basically they had you going in circles. Playing mind games. And it just wasn't moving. But now this person does want a new beginning with you. They want expansion. They want growth. And now they're willing to take this leap of faith with you. Now. So let's find out about the fool. Please give me more information on the fool. Why is this fool here? Please give me more information on this fool. Please give me more information on the fool. Why is the fool here? Please give me more information on the fool. Why is this fool here? Please give me more information on the fool. Why is this fool here? Please give me more information on the fool. Please give me more information on this fool. Please give me more information on this actual fool. I mean fool. What? They might just be a bunch of, they might just be a fool, right? Please give me more information on the fool. Please give me more information on this fool. Yes, this fool. Please give me more information on the fool. There we go. Gemini's, my little Jemmy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at this. Uh, uh. The Page of Cups. This is them. This is them. Clarif I'm clarifying the fool. This is them actually wanting to come in and make an offering. We got the King of Pentacles. And we got the Queen of Rods or Queen of Wands. So you guys could be you, you guys could have been dealing with a person that's businessman or businesswoman. You could have been dealing with somebody like this. Uh, they could be their they could own their own business, or they could be a CEO, or within the company that they work for, they could be in a leadership position such as a director or manager. This person is financially stable. 
uh, they tend to be father, they, they're a good father figure, mother figure. And keep in mind that this can go vice versa. So it doesn't have to be you. It could easily be the other person. So if you need to flip it, then by all means, go right ahead and flip it. And this doesn't have to be for a woman. This is also applies to men and women because these cards have no uh, specific gender in it. And keep in mind that we all have feminine and masculine energy within us. So this person, they could have been a businessman or woman, and this person feels that you are very, they feel that you're very sexy. They think you're the sexiest thing that has walked this earth, Gemini. That's how they feel about you. <sighs> That's only because they haven't met me yet. Mm -hmm. That's right, Gemini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. No, I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, but this person now wants to come in and take a leap of faith with you. This could be somebody that's, you know, like I said, they could be a business owner or they could be in a leadership position at their job. They find you to be very ambitious. They find you to be very uh, hot, sexy. They think you're very creative. They think you're bold. And they want to make an offering to you. They want to see, you know what I'm thinking? You know what? You know, the first thing that I just saw, not thinking, but the first thing I saw and felt right when I saw this, uh, Jemmy's. This is you guys. See, this person right here that you guys are dealing with, this person, he's more the serious type, you know, more serious, you know, looks like he got to stick up his ass and everything. Yes, sir. Yeah, I concur. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, we have to write. If you don't act that up, if you, if you keep being out, I'm going to end up writing you up and, you know, this is going to be your last verbal warning and blah, blah, blah. And this is the, this is the way things work in this company and everything. And yes, I'm going to micromanage, I'm going to micromanage your ass all day, every day. And here comes Gemini. Oh my God, you so stupid. You know, you cannot micromanage this ass right here. So don't even go there. And if you even thinking about writing my ass up, you're the one that's going to end up paying for it at the end of the day. Trust and believe you will pay for it. So you might as well get that thought out of your head because you ain't writing nobody up. <laughs> Anyways, because you know, it's like, this is, a, this is the, uh, this is a serious one. And this is the one that's more down to earth. It's like they balance, you guys balance each other out. You know, whatever he's lacking, she, uh, she, uh, uh, she compliments. And whatever she's lacking, whatever she's lacking, he compliments. So it's like, cause you know, you got one that's all stiff and you got the other one that's all free spirit, you know, and like they compliment each other. This one is bold. This one is bold. She's ambitious. And this one, he's all business oriented boring yeah, seriously and now that person wants to come in and make an offering they want to take a leap of faith and make an offering and that's the reason why this person finds you hot and sexy because you're so bold and ambitious when they're so damn boring and they like it and you like it see the reason why you like it is because you like the fact that homie got some good that homie got some good ass credit shit i don't blame you Right here, Jimmy. Oh, we got some good ass credit. Hell yeah, shit. Fuck yeah. Anyways, let's keep it moving to the Ten of Wands. So this person could be stressed out. Or they could have a lot of burdens. Let's find out why. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Okay. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. See? There was hurting. I need one more card for this. So I need one. What is this? And that's my Knight of Pentacles. I need one more card. Give me more information on the Ten of Wands. Give me more information on the Ten of Wands. Why the Ten of Wands here? Please give me more information on the Ten of Wands. Let's 
See? They made a decision. Well, you don't see because I haven't showed you the cards yet. See? Look. We got the Five of Cups in reverse. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. They're no longer in this energy that they was in. And that uh, of them feeling miserable. They're no longer in that energy. So like I, like I was saying earlier, if this person had their if this person had their heart broken in the past, either due to this relation, either due to your relationship or another relationship, they needed to heal first. And now this person has healed because now we have the three of swords in reverse. So this person has now healed. They have they needed time to heal. That's why your relationship wasn't getting off the ground and they was busy playing my game. So this person is no longer in this three parties. I mean, is no longer hurting. Or this person is no longer in this three party situation. I do not see this as a three party at all. I see this that this person was hurting at one point. They was hurting. This person was hurting, and that's the reason why they wasn't able to move forward with you. They needed time to heal, and this person most likely never told you this. They never told you this, and they were just busy. Instead of them telling you, coming clean, telling you this, they were just busy playing mind games with you. That's all they was doing when they should have been telling you, hey, I'm hurting right now. I'm not quite ready for a relationship, but they didn't do that. And like I said, look, we got the Five of Cups again right here. But the Five of Cups is in reverse. See? So they're no longer in this energy. They're no longer in the energy. Now they're seeing the Two of Cups. They're no longer worrying about the Three of Cups that they uh, that spilled over. Now they, now, they, now they see the Two of Cups. They realize that the Two of Cups are still standing there. And this person... They didn't want to see the truth with the two of swords here. They didn't want to see the truth. It's like they was trying to avoid the truth as much as possible. They was trying to avoid. They didn't want to, you know, like come out and actually say, okay, I'm hurting. It's like they did everything into power to avoid them actually admitting to themselves or admitting, yeah, admitting to themselves that they actually do care about you and the inner conflict that they going that they got going on has to do with their the reason why they're in pain. And that's the reason why they was being so indecisive. They was being so indecisive. And with the Knight of Pentacles, they was moving slowly here. They was being very cautious because when they make a decision, they want to be precise. They want to make sure that they make the correct decision. That's why they was moving very slowly because they don't want this to happen again. Not that. They don't want this to happen again. This is the reason why they was moving slowly. This is the reason why they was being so cautious because they're trying to avoid this right here. They was trying to avoid it because they don't want to go through that situation again. They don't. It was too much of a, it was a stressful, it was stressful for them. Stressful because they know that they do want to be with you, but they're just not ready to do it. But now they're out of that energy, because now this is in reverse. And now they're here. And now they're no longer avoiding making a decision. They need to make a damn decision, and they need to make it fast. I'm going to get one more for the Ten of Wands. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Please get more information on the Ten of Wands. Please get more. Look, the Seven of Cups in reverse. In reverse. In reverse. 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 They no longer in. They now see. They no longer in denial. They see the reality. This person is no longer in denial. They see the reality. They're no longer confused. They see that, that they needed to come out of that energy. They're no longer hurting, and they know that they do care about you, and that you're the one that they want to be with. So, And there's nobody else for them. There's nobody else for them. You're the one that they want to be in, be with, not in. Well, they might want to be in you as well. 
But anyways, that's a different story right there. That's a different type of reading. But they now see the reality of the situation. They're now making a, they now have made a decision and they want to come towards you. They want to take that leap of faith. They want that new beginning with you. Please give me more information on the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Please give me more information on the Empress. Please give me more information on the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Please give me more information on the Empress. Please give me more information on the Empress. What we got here? Look at that. We got it again. Look. Three of, three of Pentacles. And now they want to cooperate, meet you halfway, you know, teamwork makes a dream work. We got the Ten of Wands in reverse. She's coming out again. In reverse. What's the other one? And the Eight of Swords in reverse. They're out of their head. They're out of their head. They're releasing burdens. And now they're ready to cooperate with you. Now they're ready to meet you halfway. Now you guys can be on the same page. Because now they want expansion. They want growth. They're no longer in their head. But like I was saying earlier... This could also be mental conflict. This conflict could also be mental conflict that they had. And that was them reliving that past pain, that past hurt. That was them. And then them moving so slowly and being cautious is them reliving it. Because they don't want to go through that again. They don't want to go through that pain anymore. So that was them reliving that past pain. And Jemmy, my little Jemmy's, this could be you guys. It could be you guys, and it could be the other person. But this person now, they want to cooperate with you. Now they're willing to cooperate. Now they want to take that leap of faith. And they don't, because they know that they could be missing out on the, on the opportunity here. Because we at the bottom of the deck, we have the four cups. So this person knows that they're missing out on the opportunity here with you. They're missing out on the opportunity for expansion and growth and love. They're missing out on it. And this person, they want your attention. This person wants your attention, Jemmy. What you guys going to do? You guys going to give them some attention or give her some attention? You know what? That's all on you. You guys do what you want to do. If It all depends on the situation. Everybody's situation is different. Everything is case by case. So, not every, so this is not going to resonate with everybody, nor is it going to resonate the same for everybody. But... What I can tell you is this person is no longer in that energy of them feeling miserable over past pain. They're now ready to take this leap of faith with you. And they're, they're let me see, they're ready to do it. They're ready, they, they want to do this. Okay, so let me get you a guidance message here. Please give me a guidance message for Geminis. Please give me a guidance message for Geminis. Please give me a guidance message for Gemini. Please give me a guidance. Here we go. Actually. We, uh, I picked the one that came from the Rejuvenate. Rejuvenation, there we go. I'm like, I, I, rejuvenation, I couldn't even say the word. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm slow, and Anyways, whatever. Re, uh, see, I can't pronounce the word. I said it a few minutes ago, now I can't say it. Any, anyways, take time to rest and recharge your batteries. That's what it says. Re, uh, renew, I can't pronounce it. You guys figure it out. I'll put the card here and you guys figure it out. See, I just said it a few minutes ago. And now I can't say it. I forgot already. Oh, well. Rejuvenation. There we go. See? I bet you I'm going to forget within a few minutes. Anyways, I will see you guys again. You guys have yourself a good night. You guys take care and have yourself a good week. I will see you guys next week. Okay? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, my little jummies.